My name is Dr. Nicola Driver, and I'm an assistant professor here at the Clinton School of Public Service. I teach field research methods, and I'm also the faculty director of the Office of Community Engagement. I have a PhD in sociology from the University of North Texas. I have a master's of public administration from the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. And prior to that, I worked for HUD, Housing and Urban Development in DC. And my research interests are in the areas of health disparities, mainly racial and ethnic health disparities. And I focus a lot on women's health, maternal health, and reproductive health. Well, I teach field research methods at the Clinton School, and the course teaches students to conduct applied community-based research. So everything from crafting a research question to developing a methodological plan to collecting the data, analyzing the data, and then producing a final deliverable that's useful and that's not just gonna sit on a shelf. Learning research skills help prepare students for the real world because more and more public service organizations are becoming evidence-based. They're relying on data to make big decisions. Uh, a lot of times organizations don't know how to use the data in the best way, and our students come prepared to see the big picture, to make evaluations more efficient, and to make sure that the findings are useful and impactful for the organization. The Office of Community Engagement is the office at the Clinton School that oversees the field service projects, both practicum and the international public service project. So the field service projects prepare students at the Clinton School because they take learning outside of the classroom. And because of that, the projects are real. They can get complicated. They're not neatly packaged and cookie cutter. There are no ready-made solutions. They can be really challenging, but with that challenge, the students grow, um, they learn a lot. It's not an easy process, but it's worth it. Our practicum students are working with Habitat for Humanity. Habitat was gifted 63 acres of land, and they have asked our students to help them decide the best way to use it. So we're diving into the scholarly literature, we're surveying the neighborhood, we're organizing community conversations, and ultimately we're going to recommend the best way to use the land so that it provides the most benefit to the neighborhood. In field research methods at the Clinton School of Public Service, students will learn how research and data are important parts of public service careers. They'll learn the skills to conduct both and how they are powerful tools for social justice and social change.